All right, let's look at number one. All right, I don't think y'all did these last year. I could be wrong. All right, let's look at number one. We'll get to them as fast as we can. So these are rational functions that we're going to graph. All that means is, guys, it's got fractions in it. All right, so on every problem, on almost every problem, we have to find what they call the vertical asymptote and the horizontal. If you guys just want to write VA and HA, I'm good with that, instead of writing out the whole word. So we've got to, got to write down VA and HA. All right, which way is vertical? Vertical is up and down, right? Horizontal is this way. All right, so how do we find the VA, the vertical line? It's easy. You've been doing this. Take the bottom, set it equal to zero. Move it over, that gives me negative one. Does everyone see how I got negative one? All right, so watch what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to go over here on my graph. At negative one, I put a vertical line up and down. Do it with your color. That's what you got the color for. You're drawing your vertical, your VA and your HA, your vertical asymptote, and your horizontal asymptote. Question? You see the bottom says X plus 1? So Matthew, I brought it down. I did X plus 1 equals 0, and you just solved it, moved it over. So positive 1, moved it over, just turned it into a negative. All right, so Matthew, for the other one, for the horizontal, this one's a little different. Everybody look. Y'all see how that exponent's a 1 and that's a 1? It's understood to be a 1, right, if you don't see anything. When the exponents are equal, y'all have to divide the numbers in front of the, you've got to divide the coefficients, the number in front of the x. So what's 1 divided by 1? So that's y equals 1. So my horizontal line, going side to side, is it positive 1? Looks like that. Any question how I found either one of those? All right, that's the hard part. The last part, we got to plug in four numbers so we can graph this and know where the curves go. All right, so watch. How do I pick my four numbers? It's easy. Two numbers on the right of your dotted line, 0 and 1. Two numbers on the left of your dotted line, negative 2 and negative 3. We're going to choose those every time because those are closest to the center. So I got negative 3, negative 2, 0, and 1. Somebody's probably wanting to ask, does the order matter? No, you can write them down in any order you want, as long as you choose two on the left, two on the right. Yeah, so now we're just going to put it in the calculator. So Matthew, I'm going to take negative 3. got to put it in there and there. So you'll put in negative 3 on top, negative 3 plus 1 on the bottom. Tell me what it gives you. I don't have a calculator. If it gives you a fraction, turn it into a decimal. How do we turn it into a decimal? So negative 3 on top. The bottom is negative 3 plus 1. All right, it gave me 3 over 2. So how did I show you all how to turn it into a decimal? Hit the math button. And then decimal is number 2. Answer is 1.5. Does everybody see how we got 1.5? Everybody good? All right, so now just go down the line, plug in negative 2. You might can do some of these in your head. Just make sure you don't miss one. All right, so Jacob's going to let us know what he gets when he plugs in negative 2 on top and bottom. 2. Right. Positive 2 or negative 2? Positive 2. Taylor says it's 2. So I plug in 0 now. Same thing. Hey, I can do this one in my head because if 0 is on top, it's going to be 0. 0 divided by anything 0, right? So now plug 1 in there and there, see what you get. Right. 
Kelsey says it's one half, make it a decimal, that's 0.5. Any questions about getting those four answers? Everybody good? Matthew, we good? Last step. We got to graph these four points and draw curves through them. Let me show you. I got to go negative three up 1.5. So negative three up one and a half is right there for a point. I'm counting from zero from the origin, not the dotted line. Negative 2 is back to up to. Negative 2, up to, 1, 2, right here. All right, 0, 0 is an easy one. Over 1, how do I go up 0. 0.5? Halfway, right? So over 1, up halfway. All right, so what are these blue points? How, how's this going to help us? Let me show you. When you draw your graph, you got a curve that hugs this dotted line, and you got a curve that hugs this dotted line. That's what these graphs are going to look like. Curve line. So the dotted lines are just there to keep us from crossing them. It's kind of like guidelines for us. It guides us where curves go. All right, so that's how we're going to do four of these problems, just like this. Anybody got a question before we do another one? So that was number one. I'm going to find another one just like number one, and it's number four. Number four is just like number one, so we're going to go to number four next. Bless you. All right, so let me write down number four. I got 4x minus 4 on the top, 2x plus 2 on the bottom. All right, we're going to do them the same way. How did I just find the VA, the vertical? Look back at number one. What did we do? Y'all remember? Set the bottom equal to zero. 2x plus 2 equals zero. All right, solve that for x, see what you get. So I move over plus 2, that's negative 2. I got x equals negative 1, right? All right, so that's our vertical. That lets you know it's going to go up and down. So at negative 1, Vertical asymptotes, up and down. Remember, draw your dotted lines with your colors. These are just going to be our guidelines for when we draw our graph. All right, what did we do on number one when finding the HA, the horizontal? What did we do? Look back at it. When these are the same, take the coefficients and do what with them? Divide them. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. So my horizontal dotted line is at positive 2. All right, last step, we've got to plug in our four points. How did I pick my four points on number one? What did I do? Two on the right, two on the left. So we're going to pick just happens to be the same numbers on this one. Zero and one, negative two and negative three. All right, y'all plug them in, see what you get. Now when you plug these in, it might take you a little bit longer. 4 times 0 minus 4, 2 times 0 plus 2. You know, if you could do some of it in your head, it would help. Let me plug them in real quick, see what I get. What y'all get when you plugged in 0? My calculator gave me negative 2. Right, now we're going to plug in 1. And I got zero. Y'all do the other ones and I'll just copy off y'all's paper. All right, the other curve, I go negative two up six and I go negative three up four. That curve is going to look like that. 
remember, just try to keep your curves close to your dotted lines. Don't touch the dotted lines. All right, let's go to number five. Five is a little bit different, but we're going to follow the same process. All right, so y'all just let me know how do we find the VA. Set the bottom equal to zero. What's that answer going to be? I got X plus three equals zero. Move over my three. What do I got? Negative three. So go to negative three, put a dotted line. All right, that should be really easy. Everybody should be able to find the VA. All right, this one's different though. Look at it closely. Go back, let's look at number four. My X has had the same exponent, so I divided the coefficients. Four divided by two gave me two. What's the problem on number five? It don't have an X on top, does it? All right, so it's different. When it doesn't have an X on top, you just automatically put Y equals zero, don't worry about it. So if they both have an X on top and bottom, you divide the coefficients. If there's not an X on top, you just put Y equals zero. All right, let's keep going. Matthew, how do I pick my four numbers that I got to plug in on my chart? Yeah, but how do I decide which numbers I'm going to plug in? Here, let me show you. Remember, two numbers on the right, two numbers on the left. So I got negative 4 and negative 5 on the left. I got negative 2 and negative 1 on the right. That's how you're always going to pick your numbers. 2 on the right, 2 on the left. Put them in your calculator. I'll get you four answers. We'll graph. All right, so negative 4 down 5 is here. Negative 5 down 2.5 is there. So that curve looks like that. Okay, hold on, I messed up. Oh, your, uh, sorry. I messed up, guys, not Jacob, that's on me. I think these are positives. Let me check it, negative two plus three gives you one. All right, that's positive five, so now it should be right. It's my fault, I did it in my head. All right, so I go negative two up five, and I go negative one up 2.5. All right, that's what your curves look like on this one. I think I put one of these on the desk. All right, any question on number five? All right, there's only one more like these first three that we've done. That's number two. Let's go to number two. We'll work through this one real quick. It's, it's sort of like the other ones. You follow the same steps, the graph's going to look a little different. All right, so let's do the VA. On the first three problems, how have we done the VA, the vertical line? Take the bottom, set it equal to zero, right? we we'll look at this. It's got two equations on the bottom. So we've got to write them both down. X minus 2 equals 0 and X plus 3 equals 0. So we've got to do both of them. All right, so this answer is positive 2. This answer is negative 3. We'll put our dotted lines at negative 3 and at positive 2, both of them. I won't give you any of these. Mm. All right, HA, we do it the same way. What's our answer automatically if there's not an X on top? We just did it. Y equals zero, so put a zero to the dotted line at zero. Excuse this interruption. Any senior who needs their cap and gown pictures taken, please report to the gym at this time. Okay, last thing we got to do, we got to plug in our four numbers. Now, this one's going to be different. Everybody look. We always pick two on the right, two on the left, correct? So on the right side over here, I'm going to pick three and four. On the left side of this dotted line, I'm going to pick negative four and negative five. 
Now, the only space we haven't picked a number for is the middle. When you pick a number in the middle, let's pick one number right in the middle. You can do zero or negative one. I'm going to do zero. So when it's got an extra space in the middle, just pick one number. And I'll show you how to graph it. All right, so if we're going to plug in three, you got to plug it in twice. That spot and that spot. So it'll be three minus two here. It'll be three plus three there. Either use your calculator, do it in your head. Let's see what we get for those four answers. And number three, we got x squared minus 36 over x plus 6. All right, number three and number six are completely different type problems. Look, what's, what's different about it? Let me show you. You guys see how we got an x squared on the top on this one? I can actually factor the top out. Okay, how many answers is this one going to have? Two. What's the square root of 36? So I got x plus 6 and x minus 6. All right, you guys did that in ninth grade. You did it last year. That's called a difference of squares. If it's a perfect square, that's how you factor it out. Everybody good? All right, so since I can factor this one out, I'm not going to do a VA and an HA anymore. I got to do this one completely different. Okay, here's how you do it. It's, it's actually a lot faster. Which ones mark out from top and bottom? All right, the plus six, y'all agree? The only one that's left is y equals x minus six. Write that down. That's the only one that's left over. The other one got marked out. All right, so we're gonna graph this. And if you guys remember how to graph, you start at negative six, which is right here. Everybody put a point. All right, what number is understood to be in front of the X right here? So my rise over run, my slope, is up one over one. So I'm going to put a bunch of points going through here. I'm not going to draw a line through it yet. And I'll show you why in just a minute. So I don't think y'all did these last year, probably the first time y'all seen this, but here's the deal. When you guys mark this out, by marking this out, you're making a hole in your graph because it's marked out. It's not there. It's going to be open. All right? So where's the hole going to be? Well, you marked out x plus 6. So if I put x plus 6 equals 0 and I move it over, i got to put a hole at negative 6. So here's how we do it. Go to negative 6 right here. Follow it down to where it would hit the line. There's your hole. Everything else is just the line. So if it's off the graph on this one, it's okay. Now we're going to stop there. We only got six minutes. Y'all can start cleaning up. Hey, do me a favor. Everybody leave your color pencil on your desk, and I won't have to repass them out next period.